as JavaScript developers, if we're being perfectly honest, debugging is equivalent to console log. Now there are tons of different tools and things out there to help you get a better debugging experience, but we always revert back to console log. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use console log even faster and more efficiently inside of VS Code. What's going on everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is James Q. Quick and I do weekly videos about web development related topics. And one of the things that I am really passionate about is VS Code and how to make your experience inside of VS Code better. And in this case, this is going to revolve around debugging. Now I've done several videos on debugging. I'll link one up here so that you can check it out and learn more. And those videos are about more true debugging experience inside of VS Code or inside of your browser. But let's totally be honest, we don't always go and actually use those debugging tools. I myself am also guilty of this, where we just revert back to writing console log statements. And they're great, they get the job done, they're quick and easy, but they can be even quicker and even easier inside of VS Code with this extension that I want to show you, which is Turbo Console Log. So before we do, I wanna give a shout out to Exter, a company that makes really high quality products, including wallets. Now I had been in the search for a wallet for the last couple of months and Exter happened to reach out and wanted to send me one. So I figured I would try it out. And they sent me the Parliament wallet along with a tracking chip. Now the Parliament wallet is really high quality. I got the brown leather and it has the ability to hold six cards inside of this clicky thing that shows all of your cards at one time. It's actually really, really cool. And then you just tuck them away when you're done. You have the ability to put a couple of extra cards in there as well, but it's still really thin, slides inside of my pocket really easy, and is easy to carry around. I could even put in my hotel key on the outside pocket and open my hotel room door without even taking the card out of my wallet, which is really cool. But it also has RFID blocking. So this product is super thin, super nice, does all the things that I want to, and I've been really enjoying using it over the past couple of weeks. So I've got a discount code in the link below for 20% off site-wide and then 30% off plus a free gift bag for orders over $150 up until June 20th for the Father's Day sale. So make sure to check that out in the description below. Let me know what you think. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I have over the past couple of weeks. All right, so let's get back to VS Code and let's get into the Turbo Console Log extension. Now I've got this open inside of VS Code. You can do a quick search for, I did Turbo Log. Uh, the specific name is Turbo Console Log, if we get this space in here correctly. And this extension is actually really simple, but it's gonna help us have more clarity on how we debug things by using console log. So you can see in their little GIF here that there's a shortcut where you can select a variable, use the shortcut, which on Mac for me is Control Option L, and it will do a console log of not only that piece of data, but also give you some information around it, like what what line number you're in, what function you're in, et cetera. This makes it easier as you're looking through all these console log statements to know where this came from exactly. So let's actually take a look at this. I've got the site open, or actually the demo open for the Everything Svelte course, teach you everything you wanna know about SvelteKit and Superbase and other things at everythingsvelte.com. So this is the demo app here, and uh, I'm gonna select just a property of data here. So as we interact with Superbase to uh, select invoices, we're gonna grab this piece of data. And what would you do if you were actually working with this? Well, you would probably type in console log. Uh, sometimes you get fancy and uh, you do this. So this is a little shortcut to uh, have the key and the value associated with this piece of data. So you'll have data of key, then you'll have it's actually, or key, of data, and then you'll have the value of the actual data itself. So that way you know what uh, what name is associated with this data that you're seeing in the console log. Uh, then you could also add some extra information. You could say this came from the get invoice by ID function and put a string in there, then comma separate it with the value, et cetera. So there's a couple of different things you could do. Uh, but this gets even easier with this extension. So we just select data here. We do control option M or excuse me, control option L. And then it spits out this console log statement that actually uh, has a lot of information that maybe more than you want. You can configure this, but see here that it shows you which file you're in. So I'm in my invoices store.ts. It shows you which line number I'm on. And then it shows me which function I'm in and then what the actual uh, data property variable is that I'm trying to uh, that I'm trying to log and then it logs out that piece of data. So it gives you all this information right in line really quickly with one shortcut. Now if there's one thing I've learned from working in production applications, 
this sort of information is extremely helpful. So if you work on a big application and you're trying to figure out what happened by going through and parsing the logs, it's really important that you know information like maybe what line number, what function specifically, uh, and any other piece of information that might be relevant for you so that you can know exactly what was happening. Now let's go and look inside of our settings. Let's go and search for Turbo, Turbo not Kerbo, Turbo console log. Now let's just see what you can customize here. So you can add a semicolon at the end. You can have a different delimiter. Uh, so delimiter is gonna be the thing that actually separates these. So the tilde here. So you could do pipes if you wanted to, that's a common one. Uh, do you wanna include the file name and the line number? So those are some pieces of information that we saw. So here is the file name and then the line number. You could get rid of that if you wanted to and make it a little more minimal. Insert and closing class. So if you're inside of a class, if you're inside of a function, it's going to include both of those. They have the message prefix, which they have as a rocket uh, by default. That's actually, it's kind of cute, I guess. Uh, let's see, the turbo log type. So you can do log, warn, error, debug, and uh, table. You can decide whether you want double quotes, single quotes, or backtick. And then you can determine if you want to wrap the log message. Um, I'm actually not sure what that is. Let's see if we, this is how we figured out. We just test this live. So wrap the log message. Let's go and select data again, and then let's do uh, the same thing, control option L. Uh, oh, cool. So that uh, gives you a little wrapper here to uh, really call this piece of data out. Now, I often do this myself. If I'm trying to see where something is, I will do uh, usually just like a prefix of something like that, like almost the exact same thing. So you can wrap this to make it really obvious in your output uh, what's going on there. So anyway, this is a uh, real quick tip for using the Turbo Console Log extension inside of VS Code to speed up and improve your debugging experience if you're just sticking with Console Log, which again, if we're honest, we do most of the time. So I'm curious how many of you are still using Console Log on a regular basis? Let me know in the comments below. Yes, we'll be on the same page. And then give this extension a try and let me know what you think in the comments below as well. Now make sure to check out the extra wallet. Again, I'm really enjoying it. I carry it around with me everywhere I go. Link for the coupon in the description below, so check it out. Anyways, thanks as always for checking out the channel, for watching the videos. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one.